guys, we're going to take a look at the first example game here using the Defender deck. Um, opening hand, pretty good. Uh, a little slow. We have some options at the one drop here with the Tinder Wall and the Guardian, uh, Pride Guardian. Um, a little slow because um, we could get those in with turn one planes, but two of our three lands are these tapped searches. So, um, still a good hand. We have three lands. We have two torches. Um, definitely a lot of possibility available to us. Um, we're just going to have to hope that things get started a little well. Uh, draw into a planes, which is great. That gives me options for either of these. Um, made a bit of a misplay here, and I'll, you'll see it in a second. Um, I cracked the Terramorphic. I wanted to get these lands into play first because they come in tapped. Um, but had I, I used that Terramorphic, my first thought was I'll get a mountain because I have the torches, I have the two other colors, the only one I'm missing is red. This is not necessarily the correct move. What I think I should have done here is use that Terramorphic, and I could have gotten either a green or a planes. Um, a Plains or a Forest, and been able to put one of these into play on turn two, as well as the Evolving Wilds. Um, right now I'm in a, a situation where on turn two I can play the Evolving Wilds and not have a play at all, or I could play a basic land and um, still have to wait another turn with the Evolving Wilds. So definitely a misplay there. I should have gotten either a Plains or a Forest in order to put one of these two early defenders into play. Um, that's okay. My opponent um, playing Mono Red, I would assume. Perilous Mirror is something that I see a lot in casual red deck wins. Um, so here you see I did finally make that decision because I was facing some version of red deck wins that I did put out the planes and I wanted to get this Pride Guardian into play as soon as possible. Um, maybe get a little life gain going on to hopefully counteract that. So, you know, had this been played correctly, I could have gotten the forest on, or I'm sorry, the planes on turn one off that Terramorphic Expanse, and then play the Evolving Wilds here. Now I have to wait until next turn to play it at the very earliest, which means my lands will not be untapped until turn 4 off of that, so definitely not a good situation. Um, drawn to another forest, had some options here as far as I could have, you know, played another basic and still hold off on the Evolving Wilds, but um, decided I wanted to just get it over with, I'll finally get that out. Uh, I get it my, my second planes here, which is, of course, essential once you have all the colors. Um, that way, when you get the, the kicker on, on the defender, you can get that into play. So my opponent is stalled out. Um, really should have... I, I guess not really, but he could have attacked through there to get one damage through, but at the same time, if he had done so, I would go up three life from blocking one of those, so... Nothing good for him there, but you see I do draw into a Vent Sentinel, which is fantastic. Um, I put this forest out, and now I am able to get that in turn 4, which is your absolutely ideal play. Um, you can get it a little sooner, but getting that in turn 4 at the very latest is fantastic. Um, this means come the next turn, uh, we pass here, he's got no options really. Um, come this turn, I have the ability to start activating this. Now, when I play this deck, I like to... Um, just pretty much forget the fact that I have two mana. I want to always leave two mana available to use Vent Sentinel. That means I'm going to be able to put a forest into play, but I'm probably not going to play this Prison Barricade, because if I do, I cannot use Vent Sentinel. Um, instead, I still have some options to get a third uh, defender into play with the Tinder Wall, and I will still have mana available to not only tap the Vent Sentinel, but I will also be able to use Evolution Charm. Um, to either fetch out a land. I decided to, to hold on to it pretty much in, in the early game here because I was thinking my opponent is playing some kind of burn deck here, so if he does by some opportunity get two burn spells and is able to finally kill off my vent sentinel, I might want to use this evolution charm to return it um, instead of getting land. At this point, you know, this is a safe move. You have five lands into play. You have tinder wall, which can be sacrificed for additional mana. Um, so holding on to that evolution charm and not fetching a, a basic land is a pretty pretty good move, in my opinion. So activating, first taking three damage there. Theramorphic's going to go down. I'm finally going to be able to get the fourth land to be able to play Prison Barricade um, with Kicker. But unfortunately, you know, because it comes in tapped, I will not get that in until next turn. But again, going to pass the turn. So I have two mana available to use Vent Sentinel. Um, you can use this two off of the Tinder Wall to pay for it. But if you do that, you're reducing your total defender count. Um, so it's kind of a, a contradiction, you know, something you just don't want to do. So again, end of turn, Vent Sentinel is going to burn my opponent for three again. Um, he has to discard, and clearly I see he's having land troubles. He has discarded a green card, which means he is playing some two-color deck. Um, and I guess he's he's got a handful of green. That's, that's very frustrating. I definitely felt for him. Um, things go great here. I get into a uh, Stalwart Shield Bearers, which is great. That'll help, um, especially if my opponent is playing burn spells. It will help keep the Vent Sentinel alive. Um, but I am going to actually play the Prison Barricade first. 
doesn't really matter at this point in time. If I was playing uh, against something else other than these two mirrors, then this would be the, f the better play because it can attack. Um, but because he has these, I'm not going to attack because doing so he could block with both of them and use the four damage to kill the Vent Sentinel. Um, I, you know, I guess at the same time I could have played on my next turn the Shield Bearers, and that would up the the count on that, and the two mirrors would not be able to kill a Sentinel. But I just I didn't want to take any chances. I I have a pretty good setup at this point in time. I am now going to be able to burn my opponent for four off of the Sentinel here. Um, and he discards another one. This is, I guess, his strategy using the Devourer along with these mirrors. Um, pretty cool, uh, definitely, but drawn to a second barricade, which is great. I'm going to definitely put that out first. Um, and again, have the mana available to tap the Sentinel. Uh, going to be able to take him down to 5 damage here, because I have the 5 defenders into play. And then, because I do that end of turn, it is now my turn, and I'm going to be able to simply cast the this one last time on my turn and finish off my opponent. So there you go, just, uh, you know, I, I realized it was not a great game because my opponent was screwed, but I thought it was still a pretty good look at how this deck can be put together. Um, and just, you know, be aware with these tap lands, these Terramorphics and stuff, um, and play play a little smarter than I did. Um, so go check out the other decks, I'm going to have the other videos up here in a second.